ವೇದಾಂತಾರ್ಥವಿಭಾಸಕಾಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಾಯ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಾನಾವಾದಿ ನಗೇಂದ್ರ ಸಂಘಪವೇ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ವಂದ್ಯಾಯ ಮೋಹಧ್ವಾಂತ ದಿವಾಕರಾಯ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಾಭಿತಾಂಬಿಭ್ರತೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೆ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಸತತ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಯ ಬೋಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ ಸದಸ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಣ್ಣ Uh, very very happy to know that uh, i see one of the profound works i can tell see each work of bhagavad pada acharya is like a gem and uh, why most liked and very in a very simple way bringing uh, uh, gnana karma and bhakti yoga together and uh, small preachings to people is done through this moham utkaram is what i should tell and you all being a part of it is uh, uh, really bhagavan's blessings and uh, may sadguru's blessings always be on you all uh, to know more and more about uh, uh, our sanatana dharma and also lead you towards the path of enlightenment as a uh, lord krishna told in uh, bhagavad gita ಯದಾ ಯದಾ ಹಿ ಧರ್ಮಸ ಗ್ಲಾನಿ ಹಿ ಭಾರತ ಅಭ್ಯುತ್ಥಾನ ಅಧರ್ಮ ತದಾ ಆತ್ಮನ ಸೃಜಾಮ ಯಹಂ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಟುಕ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಅವತಾರ ಇನ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಯುಗಾಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೃತ ಯುಗ ದರ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಮೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೈಮ್ Uh, like uh, say hiranya kashipu then came hiranya aksha wherein bhagavan had to take or hayagriva rakshasa bhagavan had to take different incarnations in order to destroy them and revive dharma then came the treta yuga wherein there are few of them ravana kumbhakarna adi and in dwapara yuga the number slightly increased but in kali yuga we know presently what is happening if the present day the situation like is like this when bhagavat pada acharya the reason for him coming down to this earth was there were several demons in form of adharmas 72 adharmas prevailed in this world then then sakshat dakshinamurti left his maunam in order to revive back dharma into this world came down as bhagavat pada acharya we are all indeed blessed to have such a great acharya as ours and we should also be proud and blessed to be born in this wonderful country who has given birth to such several several acharyas who have led us towards the path of enlightenment having moved the length and breadth of this country thrice bhagavat pada acharya revived back dharma by uh, without any ayudhas as he used in the purva uh, avataras without any ayudhas bhagavat pada acharya simply by simple preachings of his taught people the path of dharma he brought them back to their he taught what is swadharma first of all people and uh, not only swadharma along with that he in a very simple manner he told what is bhakti what is gnana and through which one can see himself one can know the truth his works are apara so this uh, moha mudgaram is one of his works like see for he, for diff- different levels of people he has written different works i can tell for children through small stotras not only to children even for elders as they get to read the stotras written by bhagavat pada acharya they get to know what's pure devotion devotion and the greatest level of knowledge is also given through his works is what i should tell 
So devotion, jnana, vairagya, all this put together as one book should be this moha mudkaram, as one work, not a book, rather it's a work, which is moha mudkaram. If you look into the Prakarana Granthas, if you look into the Bhasha Granthas, Totra Granthas, you can tell them they are for different levels of people. But for all level, starting from the young until the elders, one Stotra which can teach the eternal truth and the way of living is this Moha Mudgara. Moha meaning ignorance. Mudgara is a pestle. So, I mean, as uh, oh, we re to remove the husk, we need to put in a little effort through the pestle. We remove the husk and then when we get the rice. So through the sto these stotras, Bhagavad Padacharya has uh, very well polished us into uh, rice, which is easily eatable. So this... There are, there are several shlokas in Moha Mudgaram, starting from you. I think all of you know how this stotra came into existence. It all happened in Kashi. So in the place of learning is what this happened. This incident took place where in Bhagavad Padacharya got to see uh, some people, rather they are vridhas, who are trying to learn grammar at the age of 1995 and so on. Maybe more than that also because uh, uh, we don't know what the exact age of Dhyas could be. But that uh, it is very clear that some people were unable to hear properly, some people unable to read properly, some people unable to utter the words properly, were trying to learn uh, the uh, Vyakranam of, uh, of the most, uh, uh, what to tell, uh, uh, kind of a difficult portion of Samskuta. But uh, this was, I mean, Shankaracharya was taken aback looking at this. This a, this is not the age. When will they learn Vyakarana Sutras? Having learned Sutras, when will they learn to apply them? And when will they understand what is being given in different Granthas? This is not the age for that. And thus he began with Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, He Mudhamate, Govindam Bhaja, Samprapte, Sanihite Kale, Nahi Nahi Rakshati. Dugrankrani, Dugrankrani, the Vyakrana, Sutram, Asma Nahi, Rakshate. And that is how he began. But as he moved in, having come across several situations, having seen several scenes around, he came up with wonderful uh, shlokas. The very second shloka explains how a person should lead a life. Moodha, Jahihi, Dhana Agama Trishna. So nowadays, you can see people are doing several uh, deeds in order to just gain money. Is that going to give sukha to them by any, any way? Today, I may be the richest person in the world, but I don't have a peaceful night or a peaceful sleep. Uh, then what is the use of all that money? So, nija karmo patam vittam tena vino daya chittam. Whatever your nija karma is, do that. And how much ever you get, how much ever you gain, be happy with that is what he tells. So, we need to understand this shloka very much. Again and again, we need to do the mananam of this particular shloka. One of the, uh, I should tell one of my favorites. Whenever we do any work, uh, this is what comes to my mind. And having looked at the people around also, uh, we should remember this is what is happening. We, we do a, for a moment, if we give importance to this one shloka of Mohamudgaram, I think the entire world will get back to its place. See, uh, see we talk about, uh, I mean, the present situation in Bangalore only you can take. Uh, we talk about rains in several areas. And uh, who's the reason for all this? Only for sake of money, we sold those lands which are meant for lakes. But uh, is it right? Or, this is not the way, this is not the victim which we have gained through our, uh, uh, I mean, this, this has only happened due to greed, a personal greed of a person. So if that person, before doing that action, 
could have given a minute to understand what exactly is being said here the person's life could have been much different so laukik in a laukik in a material way of putting it uh, this shloka plays a very important role in each one of our lives whatever duty you do as krishna tells in gita karmanye vadhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhuhu ma te sangostha karmani whatever karma you do you do it as a duty never expect its fruits because fruits are already written in karmas what we do so let us not expect and become a part of that in order to take up another janma to fulfill those okay then moving on further uh, i mean the, the shlokas what you chose to chant today itself are wonderful is what i should tell each shloka i mean we can go through each and every shloka is like a bead of a wonderful chain of a pearl chain i should tell but uh, i don't think we have so much time to go through each shloka so we can see one or two of them uh, to understand the more uh, uh, about uh, Uh, the profundity of this uh, particular uh, stotram then he comes about yoga rato va bhoga rato va sanga rato va sanga vihina yasya brahmani ramate chittam nandati nandati nandatyeva you may be a yogi you may be a bhogi you may enjoy this material world or you may be a yogi you may be in sangha of several people or maybe in ekanta but in different situations given in life if you always look into yourself understand your true nature then you are the happiest person in the entire world he tells during the stage of deep sleep nothing exists Neither, neither i neither this body neither the mind nothing is working just before that i would have seen a dream wherein things are able to, were created through the mind but in deep sleep state even when the mind goes to sleep it reaches its mother then that is our true state if we learn to be in this state always giving up all discriminations and also giving up the thought of being this mind or body every day introspect at least for 5 minutes as soon as we are awake or before we go to bed i think that finest stage that eternal bliss could be attained a day or the other so that is what he tells here you may be in any situation in any place we think there is a lot of delusions there are a lot of difficulties and worries in a particular place we leave this place and go elsewhere are our thoughts going to leave us never until thoughts exists the worries also exists exist but if we introspect and look into our true nature then that is a day we become free from everything we can lead a life as it is how did tukara maharaj and all lead his life having had a big family different situations uh, he lived the same he was a happy person just by chanting the nama of vithala so did ramana bhagavan or ramakrishna paramahamsa you can take great gyanis and yogis and bhaktas they all are meera bai if you take she is a stri but a great devotee of lord krishna how did they lead their life so happily even having come across several obstacles and several problems kunti mata tells oh krishna give me more and more dukha in my life so that i get to remember you always who will ask for this will any one of us ask for such a boon from lord you give me this you give me that this is what there will be a list will go on go on and go on it could be read even for 2 to 3 days when we bhagavan happens to appear in front of us but kunti mata never asked for all this 
but true devotion towards god can only lead towards eternal bliss so whatever situation given in life this is what ramana bhagwan also tells if you leave a place due to worries where doesn't your thoughts leave you so sit and introspect that very moment what it is if you are angry that moment ask who is this anger it takes a time and you see it's very easy to lecture like this but it does take time but we bring this in practice through nama japam one's mind gets in control and having had controlled mind or never mind the mind need not be in control but try to again and again question yourself that eternal path will be open so is to connect this with another shloka how can one achieve this this can be achieved through the group of a guru guru charana ambuja nirbhar bhakta samsarat achirat bhav mukta samsarat achirat bhav mukta doesn't take a long time being with a guru doing shushrusha to guru and following whatever he tells with complete faith in his words will let us free from this world will show us that path from where we came so a true devotion towards the guru is very 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 important that's why kabir das also tells guru govind do khade kaake lagu pai balihari guru aapne jin govind diyo batai i got to know about govind the only through guru so govind is also second for me guru is one who plays a very important role in my life so guru is very 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 important gu shabd spandhakarasyat ru shabd stannirodhaka andhakar nirodhitvat guru ritya bhidiyate gu is andhakar ru is the remover of andhakar so guru is only that tatva which removes the andhakara which is for which is present in form of ignorance in us and shows us the path of light he is the only one who can explain who can who can who who is already a, and what kind of a guru if you ask me a guru who has experienced that eternal truth just his presence can make you that just being with him and bring that immense silence so through this uh, bhagavat pada acharya tells how important a guru sthanam is everybody can cannot become a guru <laughs> nowadays we call we put this term guru for everything everything which is material is not guru everything which is immaterial can only be guru that which shows you that eternal happiness is only guru it can even be a tatva need not be a form out whom did ramana bhagwan have as a guru it is his own that very sound that very term arunachala term to be everything for him he was a father it was a mother it was a guru it was everything for him so we should have that faith and pray bhagwan to come himself as a guru and teach us this eternal path or at least in some form a guru comes into our life makes us easily cross this ocean of bhava and reaches to the place from where we came and one more shloka if i got to tell it it, it would go it with satsangatve is sangat is very 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 important especially in the present world satsangatve is so mostly many people have chosen these shlokas and satsangatve is a very nisangatve is a very common shloka what most of you know satsanga plays a very very important role in our lives this is why in bhagavatam itself narada maharishi when speaks about the importance of satsanga tells bhagyodayena bahu janma samarjitena 
तत्संगति लभते पुषो यथावै अज्ञान हेतु मोह मदाधकार नाशम विदाय तथोदयते विवेक अज्ञान हेतु मोह मदाधकार नाशम करोति सत्संग वेरी फेमस सुभाष जाड्यम धियो हरति सिंचति वाचि सत्यम मानोन्नति दिशति पापम अपाकरोति चेत प्रसाद दिक्षु तनोति कीर्तिम सत्संगति कथय किम न करोति पुंसा इट रिमूव्स द लेसनेस प्रेजेंट इन माइंड वाचि सत्यम सिंचति इट स्प्रिंकल्स ट्रुथ बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी आर इन द संग ऑफ नोबल पीपल वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ट्रुथ इन लाइफ we never tend to lie even for a moment that uh, that could be one artham and also knowing the eternal truth the path of truth is also through satsanga only manonnatim dishati gives self respect papa mapa karoti removes all the sins committed chet of prasad yet enlightens the mind and also spreads the fame in all directions still what is not possible by satsanga in one's life satsanga is very very important satsanga is just not going to a place chanting few shlokas and soon after that it's over ini maneli vatti en karyakrama ani ee seere ellinda thagon bandri ayvatti en prasada idu satsanga illa satsanga andre yava sthanakke hogi namge manasige a Shanti Sikatha or the Satsangha. Even having gone to a place, chanted Vishnu Sasnamun some 12 times, or Rita Sasnamun 25 times, chanting Bhagavad Gita, all the 18 chapters, or having chanted few stotrams written by different Acharyas, and that, then getting back to Laukikam is not called Satsangha. Satsangha will not do that. Satsangha will put a full stop for all this. so that kind of satsanga is truly required we can bring that satsanga in our very home itself speaking good things around reading good books seeing good things good show as that it would surely bring eternal happiness so for this you should have done a lot of punya but once you get a chance never miss the chance of being in the company of noble people because a very company like agni will purify us agni is nothing but to purify it destroys all which is unwanted in us and brings in only the pure form of bhakti which further leads to the self of the knowledge of our self and detachment from the material world so let us all learn to be in good company do good duties earn only what is required to lead a happy family not more than that never be greedy what you have earned can also give it to people who require it this is what our dharma tells if you have earned some money give it to the daddanam satvikam smrutam and krishna tells datavyam iti yaddanam diyate anupakarine देशे काले च पात्रे च तद्दानम सात्विकम स्मृतम सो दानम व्हाट वी डू आल्सो टू बी गिवन टू द पर्सन हु एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्स इट एंड आल्सो ऑलवेज गेट आवर सेल्फ डेडिकेटेड टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु अंडरस्टैंड दैट इटरनल नॉलेज एंड लीड आवर लाइफ ओनली टुवर्ड्स attaining that eternal bliss this is i can tell oh, that moha mudgaram is a saramsha of all the granthas you take bhagavad gita it's saramsha of bhagavad gita you take vedas it is a saramsha of vedas the mukhya bhaga of vedas upanishads 
wherein through different stories they have explained what is the eternal truth and bhakti and so on. So this one grantha is more than enough in a very easy manner. If anybody gets to read, knows a little of Samskutam, gets to read this grantha also will understand what is life. So such is a wonderful work of uh, Sri Bhagavad Padacharya. So it is not just uh, through this course we learn the shlokas, memorize them and forget them once the uh, course is over. Or tell around people that yes, even I, I know Moha Mudgaram. That is always Mata tells us, well, if you read it is not enough. If you give exams, it is not enough. You should learn to live practically. Live practically and then you tell what it is. So I always remember her words. When it practically comes, then Vata comes to our mind. We remember her words. And we through a lot of, uh, I mean, Arjita Punya is what I should tell. We got uh, the Sangha of Mata and several people like Venkata Subramaniam sir or Venkata, uh, Vishwanath sir and children like Lakshman and all uh, who always... Uh, through everybody. So even from a little child, we can understand uh, uh, some things in our life. So from children like this, from Mata until Lakshmana, we, I have learned a lot in my life. So may you all also learn Mohamudgaram, try to memorize them so that once in a while you can, only when you learn the shlokas, memorize the shlokas, keep thinking about it, do a lot of mananam and understand what exactly Bhagavad Padacharya is trying to tell. If we do so, I think our lives become more meaningful. We can lead a very, very happy and a blissful life. So let us all in our life Give our Shatakoti salutations to the feet of Bhagavad Padacharya, who has shown us this wonderful path, having lived only for 32 years, what is impossible for a human, he has done and shown. So let us all dedicate, it, our, dedicate ourselves to his lotus feet, understand what he has told the reason for his avatara in this world and make our lives more meaningful. I also thank uh, Vyoma Linguistics, uh, Shri Venkat, Venkat sir, Vishwanath sir and also Lakshman uh, to make me a part of uh, this course. I can never become a chief guest Lakshman. <laughs> There are several people who are highly knowledgeable in this because you told Venkat sir has told so. So this is the only reason uh, having a, like as uh, as a elder brother tells, I, I cannot deny the words of my elder brother. So that's the reason I have joined him. Whatever I know, I have told few words about uh, it's uh, this magnum opus is what I should tell. Very few words. Uh, told by himself through me. So thanks a lot again uh, for giving me this uh, opportunity. Dhaniyavadaha Lakshmana. Dhaniyavadaha to all. <laughs>